So guys, I'm on PCSX2 right now. You can see I'm gonna give you the best settings for PCSX2 in case of low-end PCs. Let's go to config and then go to video and go to plugin settings. And for the renderer, you can choose either the Direct 3D Eleven hardware or the software. You can try hardware and software one at a time and then test which one works best for you. I'm gonna put it on hardware for now. And then for the adapter, you can choose the default hardware or if you have the Intel USD graphics, you can choose that. And you can keep all of the settings as default and go to setter configuration and I'll take this option here, texture filtering of display. Okay. And click on OK. Go to config once again and we're gonna go to emulation settings now. And for the emulation settings, you're gonna keep these three options, E, IOP, BUs, and GS as default. Let's go to the GS window, game screen window directly. And for the low NPC, you can choose the aspect ratio standard for H2.3. Or you can also select this option, fit to window screen. I'm gonna keep it on standard for H2.3. Now for the FMB aspect ratio override, you can choose the standard for H2.3 in case of low NPCs. And I'm gonna use the custom window size here, 1280 into 720. And keep all of the settings as default. And now go to speed X. Now I'll take this preset option at the bottom and then for the EE cycle rate we're gonna keep it to 1 and for the EE cycle skipping we're gonna keep it to 2 and tick this option here MTVU multi threaded micro VU1 and keep this option enable fast CDVD on ticked and apply okay so these are the best settings for PCSX2 now let's test one game here go to system and put ISO as you can see the game runs very smoothly with these settings so thanks for watching guys if you like this video then just give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel okay bye